strawberry day. So what we're doing is I actually watched a video on YouTube um, a while back and instead of doing normal strawberry planters that you know are super expensive and they kind of sit on the floor and all that sorry it's really windy out here today um, this is a little bit of a different idea it's more of a strawberry planter that hangs we are going to make um, our strawberry planters out of uh, like duck work It's the, the galvanized piping and it just kind of fits together. Um, super, super simple process. Um, it, you can get it at any hardware store that you like. It kind of fits together, makes this little roll and then you just use five little locking screws to hold it together. And he's already done all that, but I am gonna include a video of him actually putting the holes in there. And all you do is just use a two and a half inch um, whole whole saw um super super simple process now i will say that if you get the three inch because we thought we were going to be nifty and get the three inch make a little bit bigger of a hole so that uh we wouldn't hurt our our hands while sticking strawberries in there the three inch teeth do not work quite as well as the two and a half inch teeth um it's just it's too thick and the, the teeth are too far apart to make it got okay, little ones running around Okay, the, the teeth just don't quite work out as well on the three as it does the two and a half. So make sure that you get the two and a half and uh, find you something stable to set it on or have two people um, wear gloves and glasses. It, the metal is sharp, it is very sharp, and you are gonna have some jagged pieces, but it's okay for what it is. As, you know, you're not really gonna be messing with the holes much at all. So let I'll show put that clip in there of Justin putting the holes in. We will probably go ahead and plant the strawberries in them and then I'll just move them in and outdoors for now because it's still a little bit too chilly, but we got our strawberries in over the weekend and I just, I really need to get them planted before, you know, my, my shoots croak on me. So let's get to work. Justin has found a trick when doing it. What do you do? So there's a little bit of a trick you can take and go about half pull on the trigger and keep your RPMs about half of what full speed would be in order to allow for this to cut through and just slowly let the metal or let your uh, hole saw do the work. Let it cut through. Hi friends, so it's been a couple of days. The weather is much nicer <laughs> by far. Um, so when I left off, we were doing, we were cutting the strawberry holes. And so I'm going to jump straight back into that. Uh, no need to, to waste time. Um, so what we did was we took the, the little duck things. We cut 25 holes into four. We thought that we were going to need more, but we ended up not needing that much because the ones that we got were pretty big. So we cut about 25 holes in each one. We shoved a hundred strawberry plants in those holes and filled it completely up with potting soil. And it turned out way better than I thought that it was going to. Let me turn you guys around and show you that. All right, so this is what it ended up looking like. Um, I think that they're gorgeous. They are still really small shoots. They're just now waking up. And I mean, they're doing great. Um, these flowers have just popped up um, almost immediately after we planted them. The only thing that I'm really not liking about it is that the lower uh, little holes there, they're not getting nearly as much water as the top because it has to go all the way down. And that is becoming a bit of a problem. I am having to spray, um, I get a, a water spray bottle and spray the bottom ones to keep them moist because we were starting 
I, I could see some of them starting to shrivel up on the bottoms and so that's no good. So what I'm going to do today is go ahead and put them out. Um, these are all-star strawberries and they are June bearing. Um, strawberries come in a continuous bearing plant or it comes in kind of like a, a, a one month gets all of their production out and then they're kind of done. Um, so th these are the June bearing ones. I should have tons and tons and tons of strawberries, which is perfectly fine for our our family because I I just freeze them, and of course we'll sell some at the farmers market and, and that type of thing. But we are thrilled to have these little babies here, and I'm hoping that I'm going to start getting some berries soon. Um, some of these are are getting pretty big. Um, right there, you can. You can kind of tell what I was talking about. Like this one's just not growing quite as big. It just looks a little sad. That one looks a little sad too. I'm going to spray those again here after a while. And what we did was we just put it on a chain and I'm going to hook these out on um, just a little S hook holding this all together. I'm going to put them on shepherd hooks out in the garden. And actually I'm going to put them around the perimeter of the garden. So hopefully it will deter deer if there's something out there swinging around um, and it's kind of flashy as well. So hopefully that will work. Okay, since we're here, might as well go ahead and do an update on all of my little berry bushes and such. Um, the really tall leafy one and the little stick beside of it are both the wisteria plants. Um, these down here, these two are kiwis. Um, these are blueberry bushes. I have five of those. They are doing excellent. Uh, they are just coming right along. I don't think that I'll have any blueberries this year, but maybe next year. You never know. And then these three back here are elderberries, and they are doing fantastic as well. They've really come, come a long way since I picked those up. And then um, a couple of weeks ago, Justin and I... Uh, I took a little short vacation to ourselves, just a one night thing, and we got these gorgeous purple hydrangeas, and they were just sticks um, about two weeks ago. Yeah, it was about two weeks ago that we got these. They were literally just sticks, and now look at them. That You can already see, like, they're starting to, to bud up just a little bit, and um, I got a great deal on them, too, but they're going to be the purple hydrangeas. And we're gonna stick those out front of the house. So we got four of those and they look fantastic. Okay guys, I moved to the, the kids hammock. So hopefully it won't be so bright out here. So first and foremost, I wanted to tell you guys exactly what was going on here at the farm. A lot of you think that we are just a vegetable farm with just, you know, a couple random flowers thrown in. And that's actually, not the case. Um, for the most part, our fruits and vegetables are for our family and we just kind of bring all of our extras to the table. That's why it's a bunch of randomness when we do go to the farmer's market. Um, we are a flower farm. Purple Honey Farms has always been the dream of a flower farm. And after yesterday, planting thousands and thousands and thousands of seeds, uh, literally anything from an aster to a zinnia, I can officially say that we are a flower farm. Uh, we've had our license for a while now. Um, the only thing, we do not have a nursery license uh, because in the state of Virginia, you do not have to have a nursery license unless you are growing something woody. And I don't plan on growing anything woody. Um, so we're starting small this year. Um, we just have a couple of really big plots set aside for the flowers and then if all goes well, which we are praying that it is, um, there have been many, many prayers sent up about this farm and many late nights up to thinking about everything that has to go on, but we are hoping to expand again next year into another field and take up the whole field just for flowers and that will be a prayer answered so y'all just keep us 
keep us in mind if you need Mother's Day or any anything like that. I'm hoping to have stuff by Mother's Day. Um, our zone that we're in, it's just kind of eh, hit and hit and miss as to whether or not we'll actually have flowers come come Mother's Day because we um, don't have a greenhouse at this house. <laughs> at our last house, we had a greenhouse and it was a permanent fixture and it stayed with the house when when we sold it. Um, so this house does not have a greenhouse or a caterpillar tunnel yet that's in the works justin better buy me one soon anyways but flowers 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 planted everything except for sunflowers um i am kind of nervous to plant my sunflowers because it's thousands upon thousands of sunflowers and i just really really want to make sure that um we are 100% out of the frost before I plant those. Um, I, I have a little, a little something up my sleeve for if if some kind of random weather comes up for one, um, one garden. But I can't, I can't cover two huge plots. Um, so, anyways, um, but we, yeah, we're a flower farm, y'all, um, and we're super, super excited about this. It's always been a dream of mine to be able to grow flowers and God, God is making that happen for me and we are beyond thrilled. Um, this year has been kind of a whirlwind for us and you know, besides everything that happened in 2020, uh, 2021 has been kind of crazy for us with things opening back up and you know, our kids are finally at an age that they can play sports like <laughs> the two oldest are are both now in extracurricular activities so we are busy um and then you know justin still has his full-time job and that's that's a whole whole nother ordeal in itself so i am the sole person working on this farm and also taking care <laughs> of the kids as you know they're as they're homeschooled so I, I am a busy mama, so if these videos don't come out every every week like they're supposed to, I am so sorry. Um, I know that I always get at least one out a month. Um, I try to get two or more out a month, and I'm going to do, do my best to start doing a little bit better on that. Um, but yeah, so I'm sorry if they don't come out every week, but I'm going to do my best to try and get things coming out a whole lot more as things are starting to grow and be pretty and I'm excited and so yeah that's what's going on here at the farm um I I'm not gonna take y'all all the way up there to to the garden um today you've seen it right now it's still just dirt just planted everything yesterday um but y'all we're a flower farm see you guys later bye